everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use a percussion massager, or some people call them massage guns, for knee and leg pain. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. Before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure and click on the subscribe button below because it helps my channel grow. I'm gonna use the Eye Relieve Wireless Percussion Massager, and I'll talk a little bit more about it later. So let's get started. So knee and leg pain often comes from tight and sore muscles. So the percussion massagers are really great to help relieve that pain in the muscles. And it's really nice because percussion massagers get deeper into the muscle tissue. So it's really like a deep massage. And research shows that it's actually just as beneficial or sometimes more beneficial than a traditional massage. So with knee pain, a lot of times the muscles that are causing some of that knee pain are the ones that either Either cross the knee or the ones that come up to the knee. So the quad muscle is usually a big one. The IT band that starts up at the tensor fascia lata or the TFL. The hamstrings in the back. The calf muscles, those cross as well. And then sometimes even the anterior tibialis that doesn't actually cross the joint, but it comes up to the knee and has a lot to do with it. So it's really nice to get these muscles worked out, especially if you have something like shin splints or you know just a tight quad, you might have, those are the kind of things that will really help. So with this percussion massager, I really like it because it's not super loud. And it also has three settings. You hold down the button and it starts. So you can see here that it has that kind of pushing motion. And you can see it's, it's pretty interesting because it makes that vibration going on. But when you're using a percussion massager, you don't want to push down super hard. You really want to just start getting the muscle loosened up. I'd start off on the lowest setting and then kind of come around to where the muscle starts to attach where the tendon is here. You can come over to the IT band, move all the way up. You can do it over your clothes. You don't have to do it directly on the skin, but a lot of times it's gonna feel a little bit better directly on the skin. If you hit a bone, you can see it jumps a little bit um, differently. You don't particularly want that to happen, but it's not, If as long as you don't stay on the bony spot is not going to be that big of a deal, but it will be a little bit of a different bump. But also with this, you don't want to stay in one spot for too long. So I wouldn't want to just sit here, especially if I was going up on a higher setting and just sit there and hold it because it might cause um, some extra soreness or maybe even some bruising if you push down really hard. So you really want to kind of continuously move with this. And there are some precautions of when you shouldn't use it, some obvious ones. There shouldn't be scabbing or open wounds. Um, you shouldn't do it over fractures that, you know, active fractures that you have. So just make sure that you're reading the instructions, getting clear by your doctor or physical therapist to do this because this does go deeper into the tissues. So it really does make a difference of, it's not just one of those light massage things that you get from any store. It is, it is a deeper tissue kind of workout. So with the Eye Relief Wireless Percussion massager. That's one of the biggest things that I really like about it is it's wireless. You don't have this cord that you have to move around. You can really get it all around your leg and your knee. And that's a really um, nice component that I personally like. It also has three different settings like I was talking about earlier. So when you push it down, this is the, the lightest setting that you probably want to start off with. Then it'll go a little bit quicker. And then the, the, the third setting, which is the, the strongest setting. And so it's a lot quicker and you can kind of see, it might would be fun to slow it down and show that movement of it going up and down. It's actually pulsing into the tissue. And so that quick movement of those percussions really helps relax those muscles. So again, if you're going into the calf here, you really want to keep it moving. If you're over on that area, anterior tip, you want to keep it moving. If you want to come up, you can go kind of like a, a sideways angled motion. It doesn't have to be directly over it just to get those muscles. And so again, not for a long period of time, just start off with a little bit and build up to it. But make sure that if you're getting extra soreness that you're not just pushing through that. It should be maybe slightly uncomfortable, especially if you have some soreness and tightness in there, but it really shouldn't be painful. Um, and again, people who like the, the research and like to know about research, um, this also does the percussion massagers. Research shows that it really helps with DOMS, which is delayed onset of muscle soreness, which is when sometimes we work out 
out really hard, especially if you haven't worked out for a long time and you get that delayed onset where you're not really sore right afterwards, but a day afterwards or two days afterwards, you get that really, that lactic buildup in your muscles that makes it really sore. So this does a really good job of that. And some studies even show that it's 30% better than a traditional massage. So, you know, take it for what it is, do your own research, but I really do like this percussion massager for getting that deep tissue mu massage in there. And it really helps relieve and relax those muscles and increase the cir circulation in the area, which helps with healing process and getting that inflammation out of there if you have a little bit of inflammation. So if you're interested in purchasing the I Relieve Wireless Percussion Massager, make sure and click on the link up there. And remember, be safe, have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.